Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a birthday request video. Today we'll be celebrating Pimpin' Pan Sham's birthday. Thank you very much for the birthday request, I really do appreciate it. And I hope I pronounced your name correctly and I hope that you're having a great day for your birthday. And let's jump right into the review. Pimpin' Pan Sham wanted me to review the variations of Boost. And there are three variations of Boost. Of course, we have the normal version. We have Boost with Flames that was released in 2013 and 2014 and we have Impound Boost who was only released in 2009 as a chase and this year we actually got a re-release of the regular Boost and there is a slight variation that occurred a few years ago and uh, the variation is now the Boosts that are released nowadays have this purple rim on the side here as you can see it's kind of got this like shiny purple rim going around the tire there or same thing on the other side here now back when it was originally released in 2006, it had a red rim. Now unfortunately mine is so worn, you can barely even see the red on it. You can see a little glimmer right there, as you can see there's a little bit of red still left on it, but it faded eh, so quickly. I didn't even play with it that much when I was young, but it just faded and unfortunately you can't really see it too much anymore, but there are some spots where you can kind of still see it like on this tire. You can still see it decently, but I know I have to say I do like the purple rim though more nowadays just because it fits in more with the rest of the color of the car. So a cool feature about Boost is that he has his name on the side here and kind of like a special flame uh, purple paint there. On the back here he has three N20 Cola canisters which are very detailed and it's a nice reference to the N20 Cola racer that participated in the Piston Cup. Now on the back here, he's got a nice textured spoiler here. It's actually a double spoiler, one smaller one on the bottom there, and a larger one on the top, which looks nice. On the back here, his license plate reads Boost, which is cool, just Boost. And he's got these two kind of like trapezo trapezoid-shaped exhaust pipes, which look really cool. And I just want to skip to Boost with Flames real quick to show how the flames look on him. Now they are amazing. I really like how they're colored. I love that purple color. Just really nice, I have to say. It's just a really nice one. Definitely not my favorite tuner with flames. I actually like Snotrod the best, but Boost looks very cool with them as well. Unfortunately, you can't really see him when you have him on display because the uh, flames most likely will be in the back because that's how I display my cars. And this is actually a boost that has a different expression. As you can see, the eyes are basically the same. They're just not as centered. They're a little bit more split apart there. And he's got a different mouth there. Instead of kind of like smirking, he's got kind of like a concentrated look. At least that's what it looks like to me. He looks really cool. I have to say, he uh, is one of my favorite, actually. He's probably my second favorite tuner. Now, on to the, another version of Boost here. This is the 2009 Impound Boost, and you can see the really shiny rims there. I mean, that's just like really shiny. It probably looks even more kind of like reflective than the new version, because this is actually a new version that I picked up for 2015 to re uh, replace, I guess, the red rim version because it was so worn down. And it's not really as reflective as the 2009 version. And this is really cool. I believe this is the official version when they switched to the uh, purple rim. I'm not sure how many releases after the original release had the red rim. And of course, he's got the N20 Cola. And the only thing that's different is that he's got this yellow impound boot, of course, from appearing in the last scene of Cars during the credits when they all got locked up in the impound and are forced to finish off the rest of their road that McQueen actually didn't do. So that's really cool, it does not have the flames obviously. And this actually is a very similar car to Kabuto that appeared in the Cars tune Tokyo Mater. It's kind of supposed to be his counterpart, and they're supposed to be related, I guess, kind of in a way. I don't know, because if Mater is, Mater is making up the story, I guess he's basing the character Kabuto off of Boost. So he's very nice, they're very similar, as so you can see, um, different spoilers, a little wing on the top here, so they are very cool. I have to say though, I do like Kabuto more just because of how much more detail he has uh, with the three spoilers on there, that just looks amazing. And instead of having two exhaust pipes, he just has one centered in the middle there, no license plate. And uh, that's basically all for the variation. Amazing day for your birthday, Pimpin Pan Jam. I hope you enjoyed the video. And two things I wanted to address before I end the video. One is that if you want to suggest something for your own birthday, the information on how to do so will be in the description below. And also, you may be wondering why this video is uploaded so much earlier 
than I usually upload, which is 10 a.m. Central Time, and sometimes I do a few hours before, but it's never this drastic. And the reason for that is Pimpin' Pancham actually lives in Australia, so if I were to upload this at the regular time, it would actually be uploaded on Wednesday for him, so it wouldn't really be too appropriate because it's the day after his birthday. So I wanted to make sure he could watch this on his birthday, or at least it was uploaded on his birthday. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on Thursday for another suggestion video. Bye now.